Hey everyone, it's Meg, and welcome back to the fourth episode of Assassin's Creed 2. Last episode was a doozy. Uh, no one warned me, and I literally came out of the office, and I looked at Caleb, my husband, and I just stared at him like this. And he was like, <laughs> his response was <laughs> like a pained kind of, uh, well, we couldn't tell you because it's part of the journey. Um, but yeah, he was just like, isn't it horrible? And I do appreciate all of your comments. Just like, yeah, it's really, really hard, but this is, this is vital, you know, not vital. Like those pe his family shouldn't have died, but his journey is worth it. And I believe you. I love Etsy already. I've spent three hours with him and I love him a lot. So um, let's go ahead and get started. We got our assassin's robes. We have been hanging out with the courtesans and learning how to blend. I'm hoping today that we get to talk to our mom and our sister, but I do know that we're going to talk to Leonardo no matter what. Da Vinci, because we have to talk about some codex pages. I hope you're doing well today and let's go ahead and get started. Ace up my sleeve. We haven't really checked in on Desmond. I hope he's doing cool. Hope you're cool, Desmond. Oh yeah, I'm a notorious, aren't I? I know, but I wanna figure out what I'm doing right now. Oops. Um, Leonardo, right? Okay. Y'all recommended that I go on. Oh, well, we can hire them. Oh, shoot. Really? 150? I don't have that kind of money. They're cute, though. The glyph is what? Okay, nice. I like their hand movements. You guys are very helpful. Thank you so much. I got to go see my friend Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> yeah. I've been lost. <laughs> I can go that way yet. I'm pretty sure I'm just supposed to go to. Sorry. I definitely just stole from me. Possibly gone. How far away am I? <laughs> We're almost there. What is why is this guy punching me so much? You then stop. I don't understand. He's bolting and it's faster. Oh my god. Oh my god. Stop. I see him. There. This won't take long. Where the 
the fuck? Where is my sword? Where is my sword? Do I not have it? Knife? Okay, so how do I get up there? Auditore, I I didn't expect to see you again. What with all that's happened? Ah, where are my manners? Welcome back. Now, how can I be of service? Oh, I was hoping you could repair something of mine. Guy. Of course. Come this way. Oh, <laughs> oh, his sword. Sorry. Let me clear a space. He's all right, so let's buddy. see it. Nope, not a sword. Fascinating. I don't know, Ezio. Despite its age, the construction is rather advanced. I've never seen anything quite like it. I'm afraid there's not much I can do without the original plans. Mi dispiace. Mi dispiace. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> what are you doing? The contents of this page are encrypted. But if my theory is correct, based on these sketches, it may very well... It may very well what? Please, <laughs> sit. Leonardo, eh? <laughs> Remarkable. If we transpose the letters and then select He's every very third... Very smart. Just let him do his thing, Ezio. There. Aww. It's finished. Huh? What's finished? You slept? The blade. You took a nap? I managed to decode that parchment of yours. Oh, the blade. It showed me exactly what to do. Now all that's left is to remove your ring finger. Really? I'm sorry, but this what? is how it must be done. The blade <laughs> is designed to ensure the commitment of whoever wields it. Um... Bene. Do it quickly. Oh! <laughs> I was only having fun, Ezio. <laughs> Though the blade once required a sacrifice, it's been modified. <laughs> you can keep your finger. Leo! Incredible. Yes, it is. Tell me, do you have other pages like this? I'm sorry, only the one. Listen, if you ever do happen across another one of these, I think please I have a couple. Bring it to me. You have my word, and thank you for fixing this. It... By order of the Florentine Guard, open this door. Uh, just a moment. Wait here. I can kill Are him. Are you Leonardo da Vinci? See, si. how may I be of service? 
I need you to answer some questions. Certainly. He was ready to have his finger cut off. What seems to be the trouble? A witness claims to have seen you consorting with an enemy of the city. What? Me? Consorting? Preposterous. <laughs> when was the last time you saw or spoke with Ezio Auditore? Who? Non fare il finto tonto! We know you were close with the family. Perhaps this will help to clear uh -uh, your head. No, 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 that's my buddy. Ah, no, 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 ready no, no. Ready to talk? No, no, what no, about no, now? that's my buddy. We're gonna get him. Assassinate the guard. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I don't really know what happened. I was trying. I don't think I brought it up. What about now? Tell me what I want to know, and we can end this. Had enough yet? Here we go. Grazie, Ezio. Sorry about that. Uh, I've grown accustomed to their abuses. Oh, what of the no. body? Bring it inside and put it with the others. Oh. Others? The city gives them to me for research. Oh. Wait, the way I stand Leonardo da Vinci so much. Oh my god. I thought he was just gonna be like a random character, you know. Uh, wait, does this give me more information? Or is it just saying? Contacts. Let's see. No, it didn't add anything. <gasps> oh my god! See? Like it never happened. Bro! Thank you, Leonardo. For everything. Anytime. And remember, if you find more of those strange pages, bring them to me. Should they contain new designs, I will upgrade your blade as well. Of course. Now, I really should be getting back to Paola. Porgile i miei omaggi. Oh, he's well connected with her. The thing is, honey, I do have... Maybe I have to finish the quest, but I do... Okay. Assassination skill, skill acquired. Nice. Have you been drinking? Use a hidden blade to fight. Nice. Thank you for the grasp reminder. <laughs> yeah, I think we're in like, yeah, area not available yet. I think we just got to keep doing main stuff. Can I just... Okay, there we go. Oh, shit. Okay, he's sliding off. He's sliding off the roof. Don't tell me that's a goddamn feather. What's the point of getting the feathers anymore when prosciutto is dead? Sorry, I forgot his name. How do I get this? Well, there's a treasure, luckily. Over 
here. Yeah, you can keep going. I guess I'm still getting feathers. For what? I don't know. It's pretty sad. Beautiful full moon. Okay, it's right over here. You were gone for quite a while. Bernardo likes to talk. <laughs> that he does, but I trust he did more than talk. I've given you the skills, Leonardo's given you the blade. All that remains is the deed. Where can I find Uberto? According to my girls, he'll be attending an unveiling tonight of Verrocchio's latest work. Hell yeah. It will be held at the Santa Croce Cloister. Watch over my mother and sister while I'm away. Of course, Ezio. As if they were my own. Oh, Very sweet. I can't wait to kill that mf -er. Ciao, Berto! Ciao! <laughs> Rooftops are my friend. Rooftops are a friend of mine. Rooftops are my friend. Rooftops are a friend of mine. Oh, a treasure. I don't even have this map. I need to get the viewpoint, I think. I don't know where it is, though. But we'll find it. A glyph is on the landmark? Oh, a glyph? Oh shit. No, 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 no. It's not up top, right? Oh, it is. I wanted to see what this place is. Santa Croce. One of the strange glyphs Sean mentioned is on this landmark. You should go find it. The largest Franciscan church in the world, the Basilica de Santa Croce, contains frescoes by Giotti and a chapel in the cloister designed by Filippo Brunelleschi that is considered one of the masterpieces of Renaissance architecture. According to St. Francis in the Francis Franciscan's reading of the Bible, Christ told his followers to take on a vow of of poverty and he said to them take nothing for your journey neither staff nor script nor bread nor money neither have two coats so how did a sect of catholicism that held a vow of poverty 
as one of its core values owns such a posh church. Well, in 1322, the Pope declared that the Franciscans' vow of poverty was illegal, that Christ had in fact owned property and wanted his followers to own property. This meant, of course, that the Franciscans were forced to collect money and land, which would in turn go to the Pope, proving that biblical interpretation could be surprisingly profitable, especially if you're the Pope. Sean, you are really growing on me with these entries. Um, if that doesn't sum up, oh, it's like the prosperity Bible or whatever that still exists today. When Jesus, more sources show Jesus Again was with like, this. You have overstepped your bounds, Uberto. Who are you to speak of bounds? You, who have crowned yourself Lorenzo di Medici, Principe of Firenze. I've done no such thing. Of course not. Ever innocent. How convenient. At least now, we see how far your reach extends, which is to say, nowhere at all. It has proved a valuable lesson for me and my allies. Yes. Your allies, the Pazzi. Is that what this is about? Be careful with your words, Lorenzo. You might attract the wrong sort of attention. You think you're so cool, dude. Okay. Without being detected, this is gonna be tricky. I think. Does this lead to... No. <laughs> Isn't there a decency law that applies to just such things? <laughs> Can we turn right? Thank you. They're like, okay, I guess you're part of our group now. going to the show so it's all good oh there's our group so we can distract a guard so I think what we have to do guys let's go this way yeah and you are going to distract Nice. Good evening, Gonvaloniere. To you as well. I trust you're enjoying yourselves. In the you. Fuck. Let's have a chat. Let me and you have a chat, motherfucker. Sorry. You would have done the same. To save the ones you love. Yes, I would. And I have. Oh, it feels like I'm not having a full on conversation with the door, you. Like, I'm I'll not tell dead. You. I'm still here. Me, Ezio, Ezio Aditore. Yes. Fuck yeah, dude. Assassino! Assassino! I'm so proud of you, Ezio. You will not get through, Stronzo. Come on. Let's see what you've got. Oh, I love this. Oh my god, that was the best. I'm so proud of him, guys. I got a letter. Was it what he... Oh, okay. Ezio killed Uberto, right? Um. My love, 
I put these thoughts to paper in the hope that I might one day have the courage to share them with you. In time, you'll no doubt learn that I betrayed Giovanni, labeled him a traitor, and sentenced him to die. History will likely judge this to have been a matter of politics and greed. Know that it was not hate that forced my hand, but fear. <gasps> when the Medici robbed us of all we owned, I found myself afraid. For you, for our son, for the future. What hope in this world for a man without proper means? They offered me money, land, and title in exchange for my collaboration. And so this is how I came to betray my closest friend. However unspeakable the act, it seemed necessary at the time. And even now, looking back, I see no other way. Wow. Damn. Yeah, I feel like a lot of times we look back on history and we chalk it up to, oh, just greed and power. But... I think there's a lot of fear. More than anything, a lot of fear. I can't even open it now. I'm silent in the event I'm silenced and prevented from sharing it with you myself. Understand first that the Duke of Milan's murder was no mere political maneuver. Rather, it is but a piece of a conspiracy that reaches far beyond Firenze, counting members in Roma, Venezia, and Forli, to name but a few cities. The Pazzi family is involved. We must move quickly to question Francesco before he buys his freedom from prison. Giovanni must have had to stop and hide it when the guards showed up to arrest him. Sad. He's here! Ah! Oh, not me falling with him. Oh shit! Don't you let him go! I can just do kind of this. Nice. Can I enter from this way though? It's a novel way to get about, I suppose. <laughs> it is. It's a better way to get about. It's done. I think it's best I leave Firenze. Where will you go? My uncle Mario owns a villa near Monteregioni. He has an You're uncle. still a wanted man, Ezio. What would you have me do then? I've seen posters all across the district. Tearing them down will help the city forget your face. No doubt the heralds also incite the public. Bribe them, and they'll speak of other things. Or you could haunt those who bear false witness against you. They traded dignity for coin. Their loss would not be mourned. Do any of these things, and you should be free to leave. Lying low, reduce your notoriety by removing posters, bribing a herald, or killing a corrupt official. <laughs> nice. 
I've added a program for tracking notoriety. Ooh. This little meter will help you know how far you are between notorious and incognito. Thank you. This will help you know if you should watch your actions. It'll also tell you if the notoriety level is part of Ezio's memory or not. I want to, um... So, that's a poster. Okay. Remove posters. I don't know if that's killing an official. I'll kill him. Yeah. I wonder how many I have to do. It'll probably let me know. Hi. <laughs> they waited for me. I have to go this way. I don't really know how to avoid that guy. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, I see. I don't see a poster. Is it up here? Here? Where is the poster? Can people even see it up there or read it? Yeah. Okay, I did it. I'd like a word with you. Me? No. Don't lose him. Damn it. Impressive or socially unacceptable. <laughs> Either or. I like how they're pretty much most of the time too lazy to follow me up on the rooftops. That's pretty nice. Is that an assassin's bureau or am I going crazy? You see that symbol or is that a glyph? Break something, the idiots. Ride bene chi ride ultimo. Bentornato, Ezio. Were you successful? Yes. Madre? Ezio! Where have you been? They wouldn't let us leave, and Mother, oh, she hasn't spoken a single word since we left the house. Father will need to sort things out. Where is father? And Federico? And Bertuccio? Hmm? Something's happened. What do you mean? No, it's impossible. Claudia. No, 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 no. I did everything I could, Piccina. <laughs> Listen, right now what matters is getting us all someplace safe. But to do that, I need you to stay focused. Do you understand? Good. Will you watch over mother for me? Then we are ready. Thank you again for everything. Stay I safe, him. Too. Stay vigilant. I suspect the road ahead is yet long. He seriously just stepped the fuck up and was like, I'm going to take care of them. He didn't even like <laughs> what I love is he didn't demand or expect that his mom say anything like he knows she's still in shock. He just gave her the biggest hug and then was just like, please, Claudia, take care of her. 
I'm really Holly. proud of him. It's so absurd and so accurate for life. Like, I'm trying to escort my fucking family out of town because half of my other family perished. What do I do? Uh. Oh. Was that just like a checkpoint? And then these people are just like <laughs> trying to sing for me. <laughs> That's life, baby. something to think about. <laughs> Maria and Claudia are like, um, who are your friends? <laughs> mm, don't think about it too much. They're really helping. Actually, they're probably used to it because they've been holed up in a brothel. How could this have happened to us? I don't know. I hope that I can go back and... Will we ever be back? I don't know. He's losing his patience. Like, can he go back? Because I did not explore nearly enough. This what way. will happen to our house? I don't know. Were they... Were they given a proper burial? Yes. They were. Okay. We're gonna go back to Desmond. I just really hope I can go back to the city because I 
Oh, shit. Is this his uncle's house? I have to keep going with them? We should be close. Grazie. What? I can go back, right? Let's go. Come on, guys. I'm gonna sprint. I really hope I can go back. Oh, shit. Buongiorno, Ezio. Oh, no. Seriously? How could you leave a Firenze without saying a proper goodbye? Ezio! What do you want, Vieri? So many things. A larger palazzo, two new steeds, a prettier bride. Oh, and yes, your life. Dude, don't you think he's been through enough? <laughs> what will happen now that there's no one left to help you? I have such wonderful things in store for your mother and sister. Oh. Oh, shit. Sorry, guys. I grow tired of this game. <laughs> Finish him and do not spare the women. Are you kidding me? What sorcery is this? <laughs> not sorcery, boy. Be my Still. uncle. My uncle. Show yourself. My uncle. As you wish. Here, use uncle? this. Kill them! Kill them all! That seems like an auditory, if we're being real. Hell yeah. Yeah, I believe this is the uncle. It has to be. Oh, go, Maria. Maria's not fucking around. Stop it. Why are you going for them, you know? Claudia is just standing there. You have my thanks. Keep the sword, Ezio. Oh. Do I know you from somewhere? Uncle? Don't you recognize me? It's a me, Mario! <laughs> Uncle Mario? <laughs> it's been too long, Nipote. <laughs> Far too long. <laughs> I Please, that should have been Mario's voice in the movie. Terrible. Come, let's get you all away from here. He's got, he's got family. He'll be okay. He will be okay. Oh, buddy, I love you, Mario. Casa Dolce Casa. So, tell me everything. They executed father for treason. Federico and Petruccio, too. I'm gonna take a little look at his. One of the several condottieri patrolling the Tuscan countryside, Mar Mario Auditore played a significant role in the Battle of Anghiari, alerting Michelato, Michel Micheletto at Tendolo to the appearance of several dust clouds over the road, which signaled a surprise advance by Milanese troops. Thanks to Mario, the attack was foiled and the Florentines won the battle. Although Mario sided with Florence and Anghiari for most of his career, he defended the interests of his hometown, Monterigione, derailing Florentine attempts to seize Tuscan territory. While Mario's, Mario's <laughs> younger brother, Giovanni, moved to Florence in 1454 to pursue a career in banking, Mario stayed at the family's villa in Monterigione, stating in a letter to Giovanni that he preferred fighting like a man to filling out balance sheets. Ooh. Ooh. They came for me. Do you know why? I have no answers, Uncle. Only a list of names taken from a man who wished me dead. I still can't believe they are gone. Don't worry. 
We will make sense of this. I wish I shared your optimism. Come on, keep pace. We're almost there. I think you will find much to like in Monterey Johnny. Monterey I thought Monterey Johnny was an enemy of Firenze. For now. Next year it will be its friend, the year after its enemy again, and on and on. I cannot keep track, so I have stopped trying. These are honest, hard-working people. Our shops may only carry simple goods, but they're well-made and dependable. There is a chapel here, too. The Prete seems a nice enough fellow, but I have never been much of a believer. <laughs> Did you know the Villa Auditore is almost 200 years old? It was built by my great-grandfather, a strange man who carried all kinds of secrets. Oh. Keep your eyes open. And you might discover a assassin, few of them yourself. Assassin, assassin With all the things? fighting that's been going on, this place has started to get a bit rough around the edges. I wish I could do something about it. But I just don't have the time or money to fix things up. Guess that's life, huh? Here we are. Casa Dolce Casa. Home so, sweet what do you think? home. It's most impressive, Uncle. She's seen Cute. better days, I suppose. Believe me. I'd have her shining again, if only I had the time. Now that you have had the tour, Nipote, you should go and outfit yourself. My men in the market are expecting you. Return here when you're finished, and we'll begin. Begin? Begin what? I thought you'd come here to train. No, uncle. I came here to escape Firenze. And I intend to take my family further still. But what about your father? He'd want you to finish his work. What work? My father was a banker. Oh. Wait, he did not tell you? Oh. I have no idea what you're talking about. Ma che me combini, Giovanni? Where to even begin? He didn't tell Go and anyone. fetch the gear in the market. It will give me time to think. Oh, but, shit. but that's that. We'll talk more later. Some spending money should you need it. And Thank if you, you find yourself in need of rest, I've prepared a room for you on the top floor of the villa. Okay. I'm gonna get this viewpoint first. God of rage and strength basks in his lover's radiant beauty. She tames his anger with her gentle touch. Mars and Venus. Oh, so I have to find them, maybe? Diana and Apollo together, but never touching. One sleeps while the other rises, yet both watch over us. the hell? Hmm. Treasure. Your income is zero Florence. Okay. Way to call me out. Jeez, game. That's not very nice. I love this place. Oh, I bet this is where I showcase stuff. Oh my goodness. Okay. Jupiter and Minerva, here sits the king of all Olympus. And beside him stands wisdom to guide his rule. 
So we have to find these statuettes, I wonder. Neptune and Pluto, two brothers rest here. One resides fathoms deep, the other at the end of time. I need a treasure map. The game's like, here you go. Beautiful music. Is that a statue? Diana! What's he up to? Well, I'm gonna go here. Prices for noble ways. Armor fit for leather greaves. Ooh. Okay. Mm hmm And I guess we're gonna buy that too, right? I'm I'm just gonna do it. And then a dagger, you said? I'm just buying everything. I love it. No offense, but I didn't, you had had I didn't think you had the money. I didn't think you had the money. Everyone calling me broke. Did I change into it? I think I did. By medicine. Nice. Um, 10. You know, why not? You should feel better now, but take care in future. Cool. Uh, why do I need medicine? Of a balanced, healthy lifestyle. A weekly bleeding? Medicine pouch required. I think I might have gotten the big medicine pouch too early. Oh. I don't think I equipped it yet. I did. Uh, right. I think it worked. Where's my dagger? Mm hmm. Hmm. I'm not sure. Does this help you to better walk the path of the assassin? Okay, spoiler alert. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> he needs to figure it out, though. We gotta go talk to our uncle. So, I'm confused. Does anyone sell treasure maps? Let's see. Wait. Codex wall. I see. Uh... I don't remember. I don't think it was medicine and I uh, I definitely don't think it was the repair place, the blacksmith. Sorry. Excuse me. I may be up 
As you will, perhaps another day. Perhaps another day. I have served dukes, princes, king. Uncle, can I have a treasure map? I hear treasure. It's gone. <laughs> it's so fun. Something about collecting these things is really fun. So can I put it in these places? There we go. Hell yeah. I don't know what it does, but it looks cool. I think Pluto was on the other side. Nice. I don't even know what that will do. But it's fun. And Ezio deserves to have a little bit of fun, okay? Don't worry. We're only staying here for a little while. I don't like it here. I want to go home. Why? I know. Why don't you like it? Maybe I'm too trusting. But I like Mario so far. I don't know. Cool. Salute, uncle. <laughs> I did as you asked. And quickly, too. Pan fatto. Now, let's teach you how to fight. I already know how to fight. No. As I said, we are leaving. He's like, no. Ezio, you barely held your own against Vieri. You won't survive a week on the road. If you want to leave, so be it. But at least do so armed with the skills and knowledge necessary to defend yourself. If not for me, for your mother and sister. Fine. Optimal. Fine. Practice makes perfect. You can swing a sword to be sure. This reminds me of Altair. alone will not carry a battle. You will survive long enough to strike. I will teach you how to dodge. You said my father was more than just a banker. No use dancing. Oh. Your father was an I told you before, my father was a paper pusher. Mm -mm. Ben, I've taught you how to avoid your enemy's attacks. Now you'll learn how to turn them to your advantage. Counter. I already know. All this talk of assassins and Templars, it reeks of fantasy. Like something from an old parchment covered in arcane writing, perhaps? How did you know? You have your father's blade. I figured you have the codex page. In the codex. Rigati. Devo incontrare un amica. What are you waiting for? I guess I'm to get them away You're from people I have to protect. Today I'm going to teach you how to position yourself in battle. Oh my god, Where it's morning? And how you move can make all the difference. Don't think I haven't seen you picking apart my library. I trust you believe me now? Yes. My father was an assassin. But why the need for such secrecy? Are you familiar with the Templars? One of several knightly orders formed during the crusades. History teaches they were disbanded nearly 200 years ago in France. Only they weren't. 
merely pushed underground where they continue their nefarious work. Those damn Templars, they never will let it go. Oh! Poor little face, dying just to follow in. <laughs> You've really come into your own. Aww. Thank you, Uncle, for all you have given me. Aww. Your family. Such is my duty and my desire. Aww. I'm glad you had me stay. Good. You've reconsidered leaving. We sail for Spain in three days. But Nipote, I have given you these skills that you might be better prepared to strike Giovanni, against our enemies. why don't you and prepare if they find him? Me, I will. You want to leave Ezio? Or was he preparing for To everything your father fought and died for. <gasps> to deny your heritage? Fine. Come avoid. Arrivederci e buona fortuna. Uncle, wait. And Why also? is he so upset? How can he not be? Vieri's been harassing us ever since you first arrived. To be expected, I suppose. Given his heritage. You're wearing the assassin's robes, my dude. But he... It's not... It's your fault. It's not Mario's fault. It's Giovanna's fault. I'm just kidding. It's not. I mean, a little bit, but I won't speak ill of the dead. I love Giovanni. I just think he might have made a mistake not preparing his whole family for this. I think he was trying to protect them and let them live happily and in their little bubble. But um, yeah, I'm a little disappointed. Uncle. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Where is everyone? <laughs> they ride for San Gimignano to slay that snake, Vieri. I wish to join them. Ooh. You'll find what you need at the stables. Before leaving, go check on Maria. Oh, yeah, for sure. I wonder if we can talk to her now. Vieri di Pazzi, the youngest member of the second most notorious Florentine banking family. This kid knew how to burn right through his father's money. Outside of spending sprees involving weaponry, exotic animals, and clothes, he was fiercely competitive. Vieri hosted races of all kinds, boating, horseback riding, running. All of them rigged, of course. And get this, if through some amazing stroke of luck he ever lost, he'd invite the winner's entire family over for a victory dinner and serve them a meal to die for. Okay, rest in peace, you piece of shit. Jesus. Oh my god. Let's go check on Mama. Mother. I love you, Mother. I'm sorry you're struggling. Wait, 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 wait. Where's my mom? Stop frickin' making fun of me for being broke. <laughs> Is there any treasure in here? <laughs> Ezio, look at her. I still can't get her to talk. She spends all day and night in front of those feathers Petruccio used to collect. She can't let them go. I don't know what to do. Don't worry. She'll come back to us. I know it. Oh, Ezio. <gasps> That's why we're still collecting the feathers. Oh. I love you, Mama. It'll be okay. I got you. Oh my god, okay. I'm gonna end here. Sally.
but this feels like a good time and i feel like a lot has happened so far so friends i really want to know if i can go back to firenze there's florence i'm pretty sure i can i can't see how that would be a thing that like i can't go back and i should have found time while i was notorious and i don't know i feel like y'all would have warned me but please let me know if i should like go back and like reload and do that again because it seems like i can't go back to to Firenze. um yeah just let me know if there will be a time where i can get those viewpoints and stuff and the treasures and such um and then also let me know if i'm supposed to be exiting the animus like those are my two main questions for you can i eventually go back to florence um and also should i be exiting or trying to exit the animus at any point to like get information from present day or will the game guide me? Because right now I'm just kind of following the pacing and stuff of the game. And I don't know if that's right. But I loved that. I'm I'm feeling better. I was honestly pretty depressed. <laughs> I was sad about the death of the three of them. And I think it's so funny. Not funny. But interesting that I was so focused on the feathers. Like I was really focused on the feathers for Petruchio. <laughs> petrichor prosciutto and how i'm like i was like why did it say i had to collect a hundred feathers was i supposed to collect a hundred feathers for him and did i miss my opportunity did i rush was i just focused on the treasures when i could have been getting that for him and i think that just says a lot about grief and how grief works because i was like totally in denial and i was like no, he couldn't possibly be dead because of the feathers, the feathers. And I latched onto it. And then to know that she, Maria, is also attached to the feathers and that we can actually help her through her grief and through Ezio's grief by collecting feathers for her and, and for Petruchio. Sorry, I don't know. I don't really know his name. Um, <laughs> and like... To, to honor his memory. Oh my gosh, that's so special. That's such a like specific detail. The story is so good. The characters are so good. I love Mario already. Um, and I love the way Ezio is stepping in as like the leader of the family. Um, I, w I don't want to say man of the family because I don't believe in that. I think just like it was it was halved and man or woman you know mother sister daughter son whatever sometimes it it falls on you because of the other stuff like literally maria is traumatized i'm pretty sure she was sexually assaulted by the guards and then claudia also like was holed away and hasn't been trained in any way for this and her personality just can't she can't comprehend or like take the lead and so i'm so proud of Ezio for just like taking ownership and doing that because i don't know who's to say like we all could be in that situation and it's very admirable especially just we were an errand boy not very long ago we were just delivering letters and going into our girl's window climbing into her window causing trouble um running around on roof roofs and just the way he's handled this devastating thing event and was not prepared at all by his dad which i'm i'm a little disappointed but i do i still do really like giovanni and i think we'll understand why he kept it from him i'm wondering if maybe he like told the oldest maybe it falls on the oldest or something and he didn't expect them to also kill like he he probably expected to die but he didn't expect Frederico to also die like I wonder if he was training and preparing the oldest one and then now it's just falling to Ezio um but it's it's crazy that he doesn't know anything so we're gonna be learning with him 
Um, and I'm interested in seeing how it got from Altair to now and like how that ancestry has worked out for all of them. I feel like I'm going to learn along with Ezio and I wonder if he's going to learn about Altair. That would be so cool. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited. I'll stop blabbing. There's no use in me predicting. I might as well just play. <laughs> but I'm obsessed. Please let me know if I'm missing anything or if I should slow down with the story. I'm just like the fe it feels like the pace is up because it's supposed to be, you know, like I want Ezio to get his uniform and his weapons and and like learn. I want him to learn and then maybe we go back and get the treasures and stuff. But let me know. Thank you for all your help. Thank you for watching and you know, playing with me, experiencing this with me. It's such a blast. Um, I love you guys. I love Ezio. I love the auditories. And yeah, I don't know. <laughs> uh, drink water, take care of yourselves, and I will see you next time. Bye!